Um, let's get started on today's class. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry about my absence last week. I'm just trying to get back into the, the swing of things and not overload my schedule because we also have to learn how to take breaks when we work this hard. And we're all here drawing and talking about drawing and critiquing each other's drawings because we like to draw and somewhere down our, in our history that when we decided who we were and who we were going to be as people and what kind of people we were going to be, we decided art was going to be a big part of that. And so that's why we're here today because at some point in the past we decided, hey, I like art and I want to make my life about art or make part of my life about art. So that's what we're talking about today. How to make this piece look better so that it looks better, so that you learn the fundamental behind it, so that that fundamental becomes a, a permanent skill set in your skill arsenal so that you can feel better about the decision you made in the past and make better art that makes you feel better about yourself and then you just ha happy, live happy, die happy, and then be reincarnated as a... <laughs> I don't know. I'm really happy to. And you can fulfill your life karma and you could do good by the universe and what the universe asked you to do on your in your life on this earth, which is have art a part of your life and you fulfilled it and you're here. All of you who've joined the stream today have fulfilled that universal call to art. What you're doing right now is where you're supposed to be. Watching this video, drawing, hanging out on my channel, hanging out on my live stream, going to my website, isterac.com. All of that is part of your universal karma journey, okay? All right, so um, go to isterac.com if you want your work critiqued. I critique art. This is not my art. I'm critiquing someone else's art, and I get the art that I critique from my subreddit. So go to isterac.com and click on the subreddit icon here. And it takes you to the subreddit, this beautiful kingdom of art. So two big posts here at the top. The first one is my masterclass is now available. Um, so what does that mean? It means that there is no current sale, but and it, the, the regular price is $90 because it's a lot of information. It's been at least three hours of nonstop educational content, um, uh, 7,000 plus words written by me, a little handbook that goes with the video. You just, there's, it's impossible to take this class and not come out really good at Front View Portrait. That's just how I designed it. Um, so to get it, all you gotta do is click on my store tab on my website and click here. It'll take you to my Gumroad. But, 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 big but. Um, <laughs> uh, every weekend or every other weekend, but this weekend, there will be a flash sale. It might happen at two o'clock. It might happen at five o'clock. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> but it's gonna be 30% off my masterclass. All right, so uh, uh, if you would like, uh, it's gonna it's not gonna last the whole weekend, and it's not gonna last um, uh, a whole day either. Um, it's just for those people who really need this masterclass, who are on their summer break, who want to get good at front view portraits, who can't afford ninety dollars for a class at the moment. I completely understand. Um, it might be at thirty percent off, but it will definitely be this weekend. It might be Sunday. It might be Saturday. I'll announce it through my Twitter. I'm really active on my Twitter. Follow me there. Just go to isterback.com, and I have all my links up here: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, Twitch and my YouTube, of course, um, and the subreddit. So please make sure you follow me here or follow me anywhere you're active. If you are looking for a big percentage off the, the sale price, it will be available. Follow me here and you'll get the notification. I upload it everywhere. But as soon as that sale is up, give it like four or five hours and that goes down. Okay, that's how I keep it fair. Um, and uh, uh, that's it really for announcements. Portrait Studio is what I'm using today. Portrait Studio will also be on sale in that flash sale window this weekend. So on the 16th and the 17th for five hours between those two days, I'll let you know which one. The, the Both my Portrait Studio program and my masterclass will be on sale at 30% off. Um, I don't know about Portrait Studio, what, how much Portrait Studio percentage is going to be, but definitely my masterclass is going to be on sale. Um, and uh, at most 30% off. And uh, 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 my store, 
It's where you can get Portrait Studio. Um, so even more of a sale than the sale it's currently sailing for. Um, and that's it. Uh, make sure you join us on the subreddit. If you have started your 14 day challenge, if you want critiques, make sure you critique people. When you get to know people, people get to know you. They find your art. They see your name. They're like, hey, that's the sweet person that commented on my post. Let me comment on their post. Let us learn together. Let us get better together. Again, this is a community so you can't get good on your own you always need other people art is a, is a beautiful thing that brings people together art is not supposed to be a solitary adventure there's parts of it that are introverted but another big part of it in the in, in, in the exploration of the information you need a community um and that's where you get it this is a beautiful face by the way and if i see any 14 day challenge graduates i'll critique them in a critique hour i'll do like a two to three week uh amount of sessions worth of 14 day challengers so not everything is there's no there's not a paywall behind everything a lot of the critiques that i've given out most of the critiques i've ever given out have been for free like 80 percent of the critiquing i've ever done in my whole life and my 10 12 years of teaching have been free and they've all been from the free community here so everything here is free critique hour is free joining the streams is free the only thing that isn't free is just the one dollar one dollar a month paywall um, to get the full live stream recordings um, and that's if you support me on patreon for a dollar that's just one dollar a month and it's very little for a reason so that everybody could join in and when everybody joins in that's when it becomes a very strong community for me um, so if you do, and don't say the other guy will do it. Um, uh, th you, it really is up to you guys. I really want everybody on board. And my goal is a thousand patrons. Um, uh, so if you can, please consider joining me as a dollar. It's just one dollar. You get all of the live streams, eight hours a month uh, at most. Um, at least four hours a month, depending on uh, my streaming schedule, but I usually stream once a week for these critique hours. You get up to eight hours a month of educational content um, for a dollar. It's really, again, not about the money. It never has been. It's just about keeping the community supported, something to fall back on, um, and uh, kind of just creating a pro bono environment. <clears throat> um, let's get started on today's critique. So we're looking at this and it's busy and it's really really niche and it's got some really great moments to it but it's it's the lighting is way off and you're doing too much and the eyes don't know where to look and you gotta 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 do a three quarter view 14 day challenge asap because your portrait skills aren't strong and so you're characterizing on top of weak lighting skills and weak portraiture skills that equals up to heavy points taken out of your of your illustration you lose points you lose a lot of points when you don't have both lighting and portraits are the backbone of your portfolio lighting because lighting is the environment the world and portrait is the human the character the being and then there's a lot of other stuff like acting um the acting here is cheesy if this was on screen i'd be like wow these actors should not have been cast for this they don't know how to act they're really stiff they're bad actors. You guys forget that your characters are bad actors sometimes. You have to know how to make a gesture feel organic. You have to know how to make a gesture feel like a, cre a being is making that gesture. Then they're convinced of their life path and the life choices in their current situation. They are believing that they are there like a good actor would. So again, this looks like bad acting. And then, so now we have bad lighting, we have awkward pose, we have bad portrait anatomy, and then we have bad acting. So that's a lot of points, that's a lot of fundamentals that are falling off. And an illustration is, is held up by these pillars, each, each pillar is a fundamental. So, so I opened up Portrait Studio and posed the main character. And I fixed his acting. And one of the things about the acting in this situation, in this painting, is that we see both faces. Let me show you what I have to do to the, to the model for us to see the face. Look at that. Does, does that look normal to you? Does that look normal? Right? This is Portrait Studio. This is what I mentioned earlier on my store that might go on sale this weekend. Um, uh, so like, this does not make sense. It's got a mannequin, male and female, that you can pose. So what you've done here makes no sense. And then the head is super duper tiny. 
Um, so I'm going to make it so that we don't see his face. We just see his sexy neckline and shoulder line, and he's just gently looking at his beloved little thing that he saved from a crowd of Trump supporters who wanted to ritually sacrifice this little demon elf creature because it's misunderstood, but its hero came in and swooped in and stole it out of the bonfire and um, out of the, what's it called? Out of the the pike, the pier, the what is it when they're about to burn them in the in the pink, you know, whatever it's called, and uh, and uh, and then they just save them, and and that's the story. This is the moment he lands, and they look at each other, and they're in love. So they this character is supposed to emulate strength, and this character is supposed to emulate innocence and vulnerability and weakness. Stake, burn them at the stake. Is it no that the pyre, the pyre, yeah, the pyre. And really, like, the whole thing shouldn't even be visible. Like, the whole head silhouette shouldn't even be. See how high the ear is? It makes him look more tender as a character when his ear is like that. And um, and then there's, like, the tilting of the head. Um, so I want to do all that. So I'm going to try my best. And it just makes him look like he's tilting his head forward. Trust your reference. I know sometimes you guys are really worried about crazy perspective changes like that because you're not 100% sure if your version of that perspective will look okay. Just give it a shot. Try it. The reference doesn't lie. Write that back to me. A reference does not lie. So trust your reference. It, just because you're scared of trying it doesn't mean it's not possible. Um, and I'm just going to enlarge the head, made him look a lot more attentive to the character he's with and all of that. So the acting is better now because we're not trying to show everything. All right. We're not trying to do it all. And it makes things more mysterious, more beautiful, more romantic. When we do stuff like this, when we're a little bit more careful, the next thing I'm going to do is unbreak his legs. Cause apparently the Vecna, <laughs> Vecna got a hold of this, a hold of this person too. Apparently Vecna is a Trump supporter. Um, so this is what happened. This is what happens when you don't listen to Katie Bush. I don't know what I'm doing. But their legs got smacked. So I'm just going to um, reverse engineer that. So I'm going to get my handy dandy spotlight brush. Where are you spotlight brush? Here, spotlight brush. Okay, there it is. And um, I'm gonna enlarge it. And it's at an angle, which is annoying, but that's okay, I'll work with it. And I'm just gonna drop that in there, and it's gonna give me this really nice light. All right, then I'm going to silhouette this, because he's behind the spotlight brush. Okay, before doing that, actually, I'll just duplicate and darken. And what that will do is address the fact that some of his back is bright and some of his back is not. And then using soft brush, I'm going to delete at the parts of his back that are getting lots of light. Um, so the character was just a bit, I mean, very stiff before. And look at that tiny head. See, this is why I have to layer the before and afters on each other perfectly, because then you really see how small stuff was, okay? Uh, so before, no lighting. The characters themselves were glowing. That's bad, all right? Um, and uh, uh, now we have an environment space around them that the light is occupying. And the acting is better. So if you like today's class and you want your work critiqued, I critique other people's art. This isn't my art. I'm critiquing someone else's piece. Go to isterac.com and click on the Reddit icon here. That'll take you to my subreddit, and this is where you can post your art. This is where I found the piece today. You can do your 14-day challenge here. You can do, you can critique each other here. You can post your sketches, everything that you're working on, your full illustrations, um, and your kind of incomplete illustrations. And you can even run that character design test that I told you about here on the subreddit. So please make sure you join. If you learned something today and you want to give back, please, please, please consider joining for a dollar patron. I want everybody on board. 
Um, don't say like you may, maybe you know somebody else will do it. It's just a dollar. Really, it's just about getting everybody on board uh, to help keep the community strong. Uh, this weekend there will be a flash sale um, that'll last probably five hours and no more than that. Um, and it's just a small window either on Saturday or Sunday. I'll let you guys know. I um, announce everywhere, so make sure that you guys are following me anywhere that you're active on uh, subreddit on instagram on twitter on facebook um and i stream on youtube and twitch please give me a follow on both turn your notification bell on um uh, but uh 30 up to 30 percent off this weekend for five hours only for both portrait studio all my brushes as well as uh, my master class my master class is a really really in-depth front view portraiture tutorial so we saw today what happens when you guys don't really study your portrait everything falls off but when you understand portraits and lighting and all of that stuff it, everything changes about your art so the fundamentals aren't a joke they really are very important learn how to light up a scene before you attempt illustrations it's really simple it's painfully simple how easy it was it was elusively simple uh, the change we made we just darkened the basic the base uh, model and then we brightened the background and then we completed the emotion the atmosphere everything um and then a little bit of acting a little bit of um uh lighting detail here and there and staging and better understanding of what a spotlight really does and it was just complete so it's not that far away it's within reach better art is within reach um, for you, it's not that impossible a dream. You guys are already halfway there. You guys can detail the hell out of an illustration. You guys just forgot about lighting for some reason. So I used Portrait Studio to help me get some basic lighting set up and figure out the pose and where the ears would go if the head was tilting down, all of that. Thank you everyone for watching today. I really appreciate you guys coming to the live streams. I'll see you guys on the next stream, possibly this Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you guys. Bye.